today's video, I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to keep it simple. It is strictly going to be shooting. Uh, one of the things I've been really pleasantly surprised and excited about is the improvement in accuracy with one of the pellets I've previously shot and tested with my Hotson Flash Pump in 177. Those particular pellets are the H&N Excite Spike pellets. A pointed pellet, but it seems like the more that I shoot them, the better the accuracy has been with them. So, with that said, with the three magazines that I have for the Hot Sun Flash Pump, I have one loaded up with Crossman Premiers, 14 shots per magazine. I have the second magazine loaded up with the Excite pellets. And I have the last magazine, 14 shots, lubed up with these Hot Sun, Hot Sun Express pellets in 177. I'm not going to be checking for penetration. I'm not going to be checking for expansion. I'm just going to be getting some velocity numbers. I'll post up a high velocity slash power number that I get with each of the pellets and take a look at how they're shooting down here in my basement range, accuracy wise. That's all I'm going to be looking at. Okay, let's get into it. So the gun's topped off. I'll re-top it off for each magazine. First magazine's loaded up with the Crossman Premiers ready to shoot. 14 shot group. Let's see how they do. First clip is emptied, did it with the Crossman Premiers. I did want to post up the, the fastest velocity was the first shot, which I'll post up the velocity and power number for that. The slowest was the last shot, the 14th shot, and I'll post up the velocity and power number for that. I also want to post up a picture showing what those 14 shots took me down to uh, on the pressure gauge. So I'm just going to continue the exact same process with the second clip, which is filled up with the H&N Excite spike pellets. Second clip has been emptied. Again, I had an issue loading one of the pellets. Other than that, they all seem to load very fine, pretty easily. So let's get to that last clip, which has the Hatsan Express pellets. These are a hollow point. The Crossman Premiers are just domed. Spike pellets are pointed. Hots on Express, hollow point.
So picture-wise, what you're going to see for each of those pellets, once again, is going to be the fastest shot, which was consistently the first shot of each magazine, the lowest velocity shot, which was for each the last shot of each magazine, power numbers associated with those based on the pellet and the weight of the pellet. And what I want to get into now is the accuracy. These bottom three targets is what I was planning on using. And I didn't use this one. And I'll tell you why. First of all, let's talk about that first magazine that I shot, which was the Crossman Premiers. Okay, I had one flyer down here. The rest, all up here. Pretty, pretty decent grouping. You take out that flyer, and it's not that bad, which is a good thing. It's a, an extremely affordable pellet. You know, you get a box of 1,250 of them for pretty cheap price. So I was pretty, very pleasantly surprised with that. Now the rest, from here over to here with a pretty big hole towards the middle. But all of these down here, as far over as here, were with the spike pellets, which I just got done saying I had been so pleased with how they were performing. Now, the one thing I will mention that I think is pretty important Number one, the, the, the flyers that were just way off seem to be towards the top of the fill. As the pressure drops in the air cylinder and the velocity drops, the pellets themselves seem to really stabilize. The other thing I wanted to mention was the shooting that I have been doing down here with those have been exclusively with the single shot tray. So I'm wondering, now that I've done that and gotten these results from shooting out of a magazine, how much may be attributed to that? Are the, the skirts of the pellets getting damaged somehow before they actually get loaded using the magazine versus the single shot tray? I don't know, I'll have to keep a closer eye on that again. It may be a pellet, if I do choose to use out in the field, I will exclusively use uh, with the single shot tray. That may be uh, the case for those particular ones, but I mean, this is just, th this is at 10 meters in my basement. And like I said, with this, this is a Crossman Premier Flyer. These are the Crossman Premiers. Everything else from here, all the way over to here were with the H&N Excite spike pellets. And I didn't want to get any of these shots confused with anything I may later shoot with the hot sun pellets on this target. So I changed up the targets. This bottom middle one is the hot sun. I've got this one, which I know for a fact that was the second shot I took, and it registered at a very low velocity, and I had an issue loading, getting that pellet into loaded into the breech. So that probably is very well a damaged pellet from the magazine and the loading problems with it. But the rest of them, that's kind of spread out. Cl uh, kind of a cluster right here. Definitely not the best. By far the best shooting out of the magazine and testing these three different pellets for accuracy. The Crossman Premiers uh, are the best by far. But I'm going to continue, as I said, I'll continue shooting these particular pellets with 
exclusively with the single shot tray and see if that makes a difference because maybe a problem here is with the magazines. What they may be doing to the pellets as far as damaging them before they could get loaded into the breech. So I need to play close attention to that. But other than that, that's it for this video. Just wanted to quickly shoot 14 shots, three different 177 pellets. And uh, like I said, I was really interested in power and accuracy and uh, Crossman Premier's accuracy wise were uh, the best out of this particular gun so far. Let's see what will happen with these pellets with a single shot tray. Well, until then, guys, thanks for checking this one out. Shoot straight, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.